Hey yo, welcome to video number three, uncovering the missing secrets of magnetism. Here we have a standard CRT tube with a grid with a spiral projected onto it, which is being taken off of an old camcorder that's pointing at a wall with a grid on it with a, you can see, a clockwise spiral. So I have this camera, old camera, hooked into an old television set, taking a look at a clockwise spiral. Now let's take an enormous 2 inch by 1 inch N45 neodymium iron boron magnet and let's show you centripetal and centrifugal vortex movements as we approach the CRT tube. Here we go with a magnet. Now discuss this in a second but first let's look at what's at the center here can you see what's at the center you see those scintillating hairs that are moving off in a clockwise direction okay now let's flip the magnet the other direction and let's see what sort of spot we get on our CRT tube this way oh surprise surprise look we're getting counterclockwise movement. I don't know if you can see that very clearly. There we go. Take a look at that. Now, how do I know which polarity I have pointed here? Well, let's zoom out and take a look at our magnet. Now we have, of course, a clockwise pattern projected from the camera, from the camcorder to the television set. So let's see what this side of the magnet does to a clockwise spiral on the CRT. It moves it in the same direction. And look at the edge definition of where the black void is, because the, the black void is being caused by the centrifugal magnetic velocity. You can see the little spirals in the center of the white spot in the middle with the... You can see that uh, we're moving... Our centrifugal field is moving uh, clockwise, but our centripetal field, which is at the middle of the magnet, is moving exactly opposite. It is moving counterclockwise, exactly like the world's first explanation of magnetism, accurate explanation of magnetism, mine, as in uncovering the missing secrets of magnetism. You see what it does with this clockwise spiral on the screen is moving it in the same direction. And now, since this is a clockwise spiral, let's see what a counterclockwise end of this magnet does to... This is actually a, a, a clockwise spiral with uh, being touched to a clockwise spiral on the screen. You see how it's distorting it rapidly? It's actually distending it. Now look at the edge definition there, how, how different it is. It almost creates a torus ring, a, a, a geometrical torus ring of the spiral. You see there at the edge, to the very edge. Now let's look. Where the centrifugal on this side is going clockwise, so that means uh, going uh, counterclockwise. So let's see what the center is doing. It, it is going clockwise, while as the uh, centrifugal is going counterclockwise. Okay, do you see that? Got clockwise movement on the centripetal and counterclockwise movement on the centrifugal. Let's flip it around and take a look again. You can see we got opposite movement at the center, counterclockwise movement at the centripetal, which means I have clockwise movement on the uh, the centrifugal which is why this sphere is moving the same direction as the outside edge of this magnet which is moving the opposite direction to the centripetal of the center of the magnet the center you can see is causing a counterclockwise center point centripetal but the outside is a clockwise centrifugal which is why the circle is spinning in the same direction as the centrifugal field which is opposite to the other side in which I will get a clockwise movement on the centripetal and I'm getting a counterclockwise movement 
on the centrifugal, on the outside edge, which is why it is distorting the larger edge of the spiral. Proving, proving my theory, that was the camera cutting off at a certain set point in time, proving my theory that field incommensurability is accurate and you are witnessing the dawn of the first explanation in all of history as to the accurate explanation of magnetism using simplex Euclidean geometry, platonic retroductive methodology, a very intelligent person who studied magnetism for years and years and years, and you've got a rational explanation, and I'll create more and more videos, proof upon proof after proof, much more to add to the book. Right now it's in its second edition, so download Uncovering the Missing Secrets of Magnetism. This is the end of video three, and we'll do a lot more CRT demonstrations showing quote-unquote repulsion and quote-unquote attraction of magnets against the CRT tube, which is emitting uh, dielectric uh, lines of uh, force that are contacting the phosphorus on the inside of the tube. That is why the magnet is uh, such a great demonstrator against the CRT tube. And uh, this is the first example you've ever seen of someone proving beyond any shadow of a doubt using a CRT tube that the centrifugal on a magnet, meaning the outside rim edge of the magnet, is moving absolutely opposite to the center of the magnet, the centripetal returning. And I used it using a geometric projection from the camcorder off of a grid paper on the wall. And stay tuned for the next video. And I'm so glad to finally uncover the secrets of magnetism to you. Uh, nowhere near as happy as I was myself unfolding it uh, all this great many uh, this great uh, bit of time, and uh, it just uh, exploded after a, a very many many years of study, and it's all kind of rolled downhill and accelerated rapidly. So stay tuned for the next video.